vestments. We get dressed up to celebrate the Divine Liturgy. Why? Let's find out. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ comes to this world in a garment of light. We as ordinary human beings, as priests, stand before the altar of God and we use vestments to symbolize that transformation that is necessary to participate in this beautiful service called the Holy Divine Liturgy or the Badarak. We begin by opening the book which is called Khurut Adedir. Literally it means the book of mystery, the mystery book. And inside the mystery book are all the prayers that we offer during the divine liturgy. It begins with the vesting of the priest. The divine mystery is expressed through all the different components. Today we go through the vesting. The vesting process begins by the recitation of scripture, reminding us that scripturally we are on holy ground. In fact, the first thing we do is we keep out all those things that don't belong in this sacred space. We remove our shoes and wear the hogatap, or the slippers, reminding us that we are gliding over sacred space, removing all that does not belong there. The first article of vesting is the shabik. It is pure white to symbolize the purity that is necessary to do this service. Clothe me, O Lord, with the garment of salvation and with the robe of gladness, and gird me with this vestment of salvation by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Shabbat is the symbol of purity. It reminds us that underneath we are all sinful, but in the presence of God we are given this opportunity to be renewed, to be transformed. And it is in that transformation, that renewed self that stands before that altar of God. The next vestment is called the Por Urar. Urar is literally the yoke of Christ. Jesus says, take my yoke. It is the symbol of humility, of service, which we wrap around our neck. And Jesus says, take my yoke. It is light and it is easy. It is that reminder that we wear through the divine liturgy. The belt or the godi is a reminder that our faith is all encompassing. It is circular. It binds our mind and our soul and our faith together. It is a reminder that as we stand before the altar of God, that our mission is for the entire world. The buzzbuns go over our arms. They remind us that the ministry that we are engaged in requires strength. Sure, strength of soul and, and mind, but also of body. Give me the strength in my right and my left arm, we pray to the Lord, as we administer to the people. The Vagas encircles the priest's neck, reminding him that the focus of his ministry is before him, in front, in front of the holy altar of God, and in front of him in the blessed sacrament, which becomes the body and blood of Christ. Focus preventing the priest from looking elsewhere, but focusing in on the ministry that is before him. The last garment to be vested upon the priest is the shurchar, literally means to be encircled by. It is a reminder that there is a radiance, there is a gladness, there is a happiness in this celebration. In your mercy, O Lord, clothe me with a radiant garment and fortify me against the influences of the evil one, that I may be worthy to glorify your glorious name by the grace and the loving kindness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Other small items, for instance, the handkerchief, is placed around the godi, around the belt, to remind the priest that he is in service to the sacrament and to the people. As an ornament, the priest wears a pectoral cross. Bishops wear a banake. 
Patriarchs and Catholicoi can wear the double-headed eagle. They symbolize their rank and position within the church. But during the most sacred part of the divine liturgy, during the sacrament, they remove it. So that when you walk into a church, you don't know the position of the priest because we are all one in the sight of God. Service to God and to the people. The final item, the tak, saravart, or crown, is placed upon the head of the priest as a reminder that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is King of Kings. And we stand before his presence, humbly, but to remind us that Christ is in charge and his lordship, his kingship, is the one of all eternities. The priest, fully vested, begins to celebrate the divine liturgy with the prayer, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.